Howdy folks, High Value DMD. In this video, I'm going to talk about this title. Dental student takes USMLE step one. So for those who don't know me, I am in dental school. I'll be graduating as a dentist and not too long from now with my doctorate of dental medicine. And I'm interested in oral and maxillofacial surgery. Six or seven years ago, the Academy of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery decided to use a type of exam that is essentially a shorter part, a shorter version of the USMLE Step 1. And that is the National Board of Medical Examiners Central Basic Science Exam. It's a mouthful. And why did they do this? Well, the uh, Dental National Board Exam, it went past fail. And so the AAOMFS, AAOMS, they wanted a way to measure applicants. And also in oral surgery residency, you do learn a lot of medicine. So there's a four year and there's a six year tract, track. Uh, the four year, you just go straight into residency. You go into that hospital and you, you, you rotate on internal medicine, uh, sometimes neurosurgery, anesthesiology, because you have to learn general anesthesia yourself to put your patient to sleep in, in your office. It's the four-year track, and there's the six-year track where you actually get your MD, and uh, with that track, you act, you will take the USMLE step one, two, and three. But anyway, the AAOMS decided to use this exam because it is very medically oriented. It, it has everything the USMLE has, essentially, and it's a good preview of, of the things you may learn in residency. So they switched over to that exam, and that's what I took this last Saturday. And so that exam is uh, 200 questions, four sections of 50 questions each, an hour and 15 in a section. So you've got two and a half hours in, in, at the start, and then you've got a 15 minute break, and then you have a, another two and a half hours, and then you're done. And so I took that exam, and I'm so glad it's over. I spent six months preparing. I did sketchy farm and sketchy micro, and I did U World questions. I did 76% of the entire U World, and I did, um, it's hard to remember, I think I did four practice NBME questions. So I did over, easily over 3,000 total questions, and reviewing those questions, I guess more so in the, around the 3,200, 3,300 range. And I'll get my score back in about a week. And just looking back on this process, it's tough. It is such a tough exam. I actually took it two years ago as a D1 student. So this is my second time taking it, and my goal was simply to improve my score. And I think I've done that, and I'm eager to get my test results back. And and so um, this pathway isn't really one people know about in the medical school world. People, like the, like I said, the title is going to confuse a ton of people. Uh, that but But dentistry really is a medical medically oriented profession it hasn't always been it's it's kind of been this stigma of just using your hands and like sort of a technician almost like a, a mouth carpenter so to speak but it really is becoming much more medically oriented as the years go on you have oral maxillofacial surgery you have dental anesthesiology which also requires the the cbse exam to apply for that and dental anesthesiology they're running with anesthesiologists, MD, DO anesthesiologists, and they're doing a lot of the same things they are. You have um, oral and facial pain, which has a lot of neurology component to it. That's the, those people are dentists, and they help treat pain and manage pain conditions. There's oral medicine residency. Um, there, there's there's a lot. There's a lot, and and just the fact that we have those, and we have oral surgeons that are getting dual degrees. I don't know of any other professions that are crossing over into medicine like that. I don't really know of optometry or podiat podiatry. Obviously, you know, they're doing foot and ankle stuff and, and they are practicing medicine, so to speak. But um, it's like as deeply intertwined, like the history, maybe I'll do another video on this, but the history of how dentistry split off from medicine is an interesting one. And um, yeah, like pharmacy, I don't, I don't know of, of them 
easily crossing over into medicine like that. So it really is unique. And I think it's fitting that we have this exam and I'm so glad it's over. And I look forward to applying to residency and I, I will continue to make videos about that. So if you have any questions about oral and maxillofacial surgery or the NBME CBSE exam, please leave a comment. Let me earn your subscription. Don't just give it to me, but let me earn it, okay? Thank you for watching this video. Stay hustling, folks.